Hey Heather, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, when I saw this, I went, whoa, I've never seen lens flare do that before. Um, looking into the ceramics room uh, in the late afternoon, we always have this bright sunlight coming in uh, when it's a sunny day. So I don't have um, blinds in here to pull down, but I kind of enjoy it anyway. Um, so. The question is about this little green spot, and that is actually, couldn't have been in a worse place because of it falling on this um, part of the door, this bar that goes across. Um, so th there are several tools to take care of it. Um, one is called Content Aware Fill, and that can be useful, but um, again, this is if it was down a few inches, like somewhere in here, it would absolutely work well to f fix that. But it's this strong line that um, gives it some trouble to... I'll show you that. So I'm going to take the lasso up here and let me zoom in on this. And I'm just going to lasso around it. And what Content Aware does is it's sort of like an AI that looks around and decides what ought to be here. Um, so I go Edit, Fill, Content Aware, and there are several choices in here, but I'm choosing Content Aware. Um, and what happened is it didn't do it. <laughs> um, it fixed the bottom part more or less. Uh, but up here it got a little messy. Control Z, that, Control D for deselect. Um, another approach is the healing brush, which is great for facial blemishes, scratches. It's a spot healing brush tool right here. And I can come in and make it a little bigger than the spot and click over it. And it kind of does the same thing. It looks around and sees what it ought to put there. And it's starting to, um, it's not perfect yet. Look what it did here. Um, but another tool, I'm going to build on it from here. Uh, let's see, a smaller brush and just work down here a little bit. Um, to get rid of that green also. So I keep hitting this a few times. But another tool is the clone tool, clone stamp tool. Um, so um, if I hit S for stamp, and it's right here. And it's brush driven also, so I'm going to use a smaller brush and get in here closer. And the way this works is you click Alt and sample by clicking your mouse, and then you can paint with that. And I'm just following this line down. It's not matching perfectly, so I'm going to take it from this side. Um, you know, it might make it easier is if I rotate this whole thing and then rotate it back. Um, hmm. I don't want to crop it too much. Control Z. I'm going backwards with Control Z here. Another problem is the angle. If this were horizontal, this would be a cinch to uh, clone over. I'm going to try it from this side also. It's working a little better. Okay, and a smaller brush here. So I click Alt, sample this, and paint. Not bad, considering that uh, when we zoom out, you'll probably not see this. I'm going to take some of this and move it in here and control zero. I could make that dark all the way through, but that's that's really not too bad. 
I see a little green in overall um, here. And also I want to tighten up the levels just a little bit. So let me hit Control B or Image Adjustment Color Balance and add a little bit of the opposite of green, which is magenta. And it's just making the uh, cinder blocks a little more neutral. So that was very little, tiny little adjustment. Another one is levels, image adjustment levels, or control L. And what I'm doing here is tightening up the midtones a little bit to give it a little more punch, a little more contrast. Subtle, just a little bit. And control zero. Let me zoom out even a little more. There we go. So, um, yeah, that's the short answer of how to fix that. Let me show you the difference before and after. So here's when I merged it down. It's a little green. It's a little uh, low contrast through some of this. And we have that big old spot. And now it looks like that. Okay, take care.